Hey everyone, I'm Natalie Minnick. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back if you've been here before. I'm so excited that you guys are here and we are going to be doing lots and lots of cleaning today. So get ready, get your paper out to make your to-do list, get your bucket of cleaning supplies out to start cleaning with me, but let's tackle these projects. So I am going to be doing a power hour cleaning. I set my timer up and I wanted to see how much I can get done in this hour. So I got quite a bit done, but I did go over the hour. I did have two hours um, to be cleaning, but I really wanted to push myself to see what I could get done in that hour. For me, I am just so much more motivated when, and I feel like I clean so much faster when I'm like trying to beat the clock. So, and I really wanted to see like that progress at the end of the hour. So that's why I like setting a timer for myself. It gives me a nice goal. And I show you guys when the timer is up and what all I did accomplish in that hour. So it is a nice feeling. I did continue finishing the clean then as well, but you'll see I got quite a bit done. So I was pretty impressed and happy with everything that I did get done. So with that being said, let's get cleaning. I am starting off in our kitchen here. I really just need to give this kitchen a good tidying up and straightening up and getting our table that we eat at cleared off. And um, so that's why I started here. I had a bunch of returns. I did a bunch of Black Friday shopping and I had a few returns that I really wanted to get packaged up and ready to um, bring to the UPS store. So I'm going ahead and doing that. I also am um, unpacking some uh, things I got on Black Friday as well. And then I still have a bag of groceries I didn't empty yesterday. So it was just a bunch of pouches that I got for the kids. So I'm going to go ahead and get this table cleared off. For patches for the kids, I usually get them at Trader Joe's or I'll get the ones at Costco. Um, the kids love the Trader Joe ones, so usually I end up getting those. They are so, they're actually reasonably priced, but pouches in general are just so expensive that I have a bag of apples, as you can see in my fridge, that I keep saying, oh, let me make applesauce with these and make my own pouches, but I just haven't really gotten around to making my own pouches yet. So that <laughs> is why I always buy pouches. And I feel like that's why a lot of people end up getting the pouches because of the convenience. Anyways, so I went ahead and threw those in the fridge. So this area here was definitely not on my to-do list today, but this is what happens when I'm cleaning. I always get distracted with other things, and this was one of my dist distractions. And I feel like when you, so I house clean other houses as well. I only have a couple, and it's so funny because when I clean them, I'm able to just clean the house. But when you're cleaning your own house, you always see those little projects that you're like, oh yeah, I got to get that done. And oh, let me go through the mail and let me organize the cords for the charging area. And let me go through, you know, the snack cabinet, etc. I feel like I never can just clean the house because I always get um, my mind always goes to 50 other things that I'm passing that I'm like, oh, I should do that. So I feel like that's why I like having my power hour cleaning because it usually, as you can see, it didn't really work here, but it usually keeps me on track of like just cleaning. So 
again, this is something I wanted to get done and I did have the time, so I did do it. Um, but usually a power hour helps me kind of stay focused and, you know, just kind of make sure I'm cleaning. But at the same time, when I do go house clean for other people, I only have three other people that I do. I just kind of do it while the kids are in school. But I like, they always say you clean for the cleaner. So, you know, they are going through their pile of mail. They are going, you know, putting the toys away. They are fixing up their chargers where then I come in and I, you know, wipe underneath everything. I dust everything and I don't have to worry about that stuff. So, you know, it is different doing your own house and, you know, getting distracted by everything in your own house. So this was the distraction and I am just going through all the cables here, all the, all the different charging thing cords I have here and I am either putting them in the charger drawer like I have a drawer for all our charger cables that we're not using right now wires or whatever and then here I am you can see I am rubber banding them so they're not so long and just like hanging out everywhere so that just kind of helps m this area stay organized I know they have little things that you can buy on Amazon to help with this and but a good old rubber band <laughs> works for me. So I went ahead and just rubber band all these ends and had this looking all nice and organized and I'm able to see what we have here now. It's so nice to have this table cleared off nice and clean and ready for mealtime again. So I'm super excited for that. And I just wanted to mention these pink flowers that are sitting on my table. Cutest story ever. So there's like this Christmas festival going on in my town, near my town. And I am working at it for a little bit. And so anyways, my husband had the kids. They went out to the store the one day. And my oldest said, oh my gosh, I want those flowers for mommy. We have to get those flowers for mommy. And he, my husband said he was just persistent on it. Like he wasn't letting it go until he bought the flowers. Anyways, I thought that was the sweetest of sweetest things. And those flowers just make my heart like smile. <laughs> so I just thought it was so sweet. And I absolutely might love my pink flowers on my table. All right, so now I am kind of moving away from the kitchen. I'm not doing the dishes. The dishes are, you know, I piled them in the sink. I wiped down the table. I got that cleared. And now I'm going to go ahead and start my living room here. I really want to go through the toys. The toys were scattered everywhere. I wanted to get all the blankets folded and all the toys picked up and give everything a dusting and a vacuuming in here. Um, so I'm going ahead and starting off with my couches. I always start off with my couches just because I like to be able to look around and feel like, oh, I'm accomplishing something and something's getting done. And when you start off with something small, I feel like when you're like in it and you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to get done. Oh my goodness, this is taking forever. Like, I feel like the couches are like a big thing. You can see them. They look good. They're all nice and neat. Blankets are folded and it just like makes me like be able to breathe a little bit. So 
that's why I like to start off with those because they're the simplest yet they like are a big like impact and when you look around and be like all right I'm getting I'm getting stuff done so I'm starting off with that Next, for the kids' toys, the kids' toys are everywhere. Bending over and picking up 50,000 little pieces every day drives me crazy. So, and it hurts my back after a while. So, yes, my kids definitely help me clean up as well. But, you know, like today we left for school and I wanted to clean the house. I wanted to give this a good vacuuming. And we just didn't clean up before we went to school today. So, I definitely clean up and pick up the kids toys as well. So what I like to do is I like to have a basket with me, either like one of their bins, their toy bins, or I take a laundry basket if I have a laundry basket available and I just start collecting everything, you know, either under the couch, under the trampoline, by the door, all over the carpet, etc. I put it all in this basket. So then when I come over here to the kids toy area, it's all right there and I'm not constantly going back and forth, back and forth, trying to grab a toy and put it away. So that just helps me be more efficient and get it done faster. And um, I feel like it kind of just works out for me. So then I'm able to, you know, put everything in the right areas and you can see it just goes so much faster. So while I was doing this, I heard the timer. You can see the timer went off. So, and this is everything that I got done in an hour. Again, the couches, look, they look like I did so much work in my living room. And it's just because the couches look neat. I gathered all the toys already. I have that over there. I got a lot of the toys put away. I didn't do my um, island there yet. I did some things, but I got my kitchen table all together. I got all the stuff for my returns put together. I got the dishes into the sink. I got the cables and all that. I got the pouches put away. So I feel really accomplished for the hour that I did do it. So now I'm going ahead and I finished up putting all the toys away and I started vacuuming and then I realized, oh my goodness, I forgot to do all the dusting and wiping everything down. So <laughs> I'm going to stop vacuuming now and I'm going to wipe everything down. Yeah. 
This duster is absolutely amazing. I love the extender pull for it. It's just a swifter duster. You know, it has the extender and I'm able to get, you know, the ceiling and the walls and all that because, you know, the spider webs are always up top. We don't get a lot of spider webs, but, you know, houses that I do clean, depending on the area, they do get a lot of spider webs. So this is like an awesome duster. And I like that you kind of just throw it away when it's done and you just put a new one on. I don't have to worry about cleaning off dust and all that. So, and they stick really well. So that's like the dust holds onto it really well, which is, which is nice too. So the kids always have their snacks and their drinks and they're playing on this table. So this table gets really dirty. So what I like to do is I like to spray it, let it sit while I wipe something else down. And then um, the fingerprints and any yuckiness on this table comes up really easily. So that's kind of why I let that sit for a minute there just because it was really gross <laughs> to be honest with you. And you can see like, look, I don't know if you can kind of tell the paper towel is pretty dirty. So I should definitely be wiping that down a little bit more than I am. My kids drive me nuts with climbing up on this little table thing under our TV because they want to point out a show to me. So then we have fingerprints all over here on our TV. So what I do is I take a microfiber cloth, I'll take a glass cleaning spray, and I'll hold the cloth an arm length away, and I'll spray holding back. And just so it's just very lightly misted on the microfiber towel, I do very gentle circles. I don't know why it seems like it looks like I'm doing it so roughly on the TV, but I'm very gentle. I'm like, barely touching the TV type thing and you want to do circular motions and then what I do when it's like a little damp on there then I'll flip the microfiber cloth use the dry side do circular motions and then you don't have any streaks and you get those fingerprints off so that's how I like to clean our TV now that I have everything wiped down and cleaned off dusted all that I can go ahead and vacuum our house and get all these crumbs up I did run out of time to do the wet mop today, um, but I absolutely love my cordless vacuum. It's just so nice and convenient. It's right there in the kitchen. I don't have to, you know, worry about the cord and wrapping up the cord and all that. Um, I just love this vacuum. It's just, it's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum with this and one day I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I really need to sharp sharpen need shampoo my carpet so that's another day but um yeah so I am just gonna go ahead and vacuum now and that pretty much wraps up my cleaning down here before I have to go pick up my kids from school again I hope you all got some cleaning motivation today Get, tackle those projects put that hour timer on help you get things done faster and you know tackle that to-do list it's just so nice i feel like and i'm very competitive so i feel like it helps me want to get more done and how much i can get done and that's why i like setting that timer for myself so it just helps push me and you know get my butt moving so i hope that works for you too i hope this video gave you lots of motivation to get cleaning tackle those projects and you know then you can kind of just sit in a nice clean house or like me 
pick up the kids and it be all messy again. You can head over to my Instagram at natalie.minic to get more everyday life, things that's going on with my kids, what we're up to. I share lots of things that I do with my kids on there and how they're playing, what we're playing with, all that fun stuff. So along with, you know, other day-to-day -day stuff too, but mainly my Instagram is about what I do with the family. So that's what I have over there. Um, and then I am slowly, holiday season has really been a struggle. I've been trying to get this video out now for two weeks. So I'm finally wrapping up this video and getting this sent out to you guys. Um, but yeah, I feel like I have definitely been um, losing time. I feel like time just has sped up in December. I have no idea how we are midway through December already. And I have a kitchen in my kitchen. I have a Christmas countdown and I'm like, Oh my goodness, we have less than two weeks before Christmas. And I'm like, ah, I'm like struggling. So I have all the presents. It's just wrapping everything and yada, yada, yada. So, um, anywho, thanks for sticking it out with me. Sorry that my videos haven't been so consistent getting put out, but I definitely want to get these out for you. And like I said, thanks so much for watching and supporting my family and all that. So I hope you guys have a happy holiday season and I will definitely try to get another video out to you guys. And, um, I still want to show you guys how I kind of do Christmas on a budget. So I hopefully can share all that fun stuff with you too. So anywho, I'm finishing up this kitchen, finishing vacuuming, grabbing my kids, but thank you so much everyone. And until next time. See ya.